back everyone, um, this is the carry on and today we're gonna go ahead and continue the game. Um, sorry I haven't done this a little bit sooner. I haven't been feeling well, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm still not feeling very well, but I'm feeling good enough to actually do this, so we're gonna go ahead and start the game. We're gonna actually pick up at Sorry's house and continue from there. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, let's see, where do we gotta go? Right? Oh, did I wake you? Sorry about that. You're sure into that book, aren't you? I've read it countless times since my childhood. One day, I want to explore ruins all over the world. Everyone who's read the Celestial Records says that, and I'm no exception. But sadly, now is not the time for some jaunt around the world. For several years now, the world has been plunged into a nigh-incomprehensible state of chaos. Chaos? Mysterious illnesses, incessant storms, people bursting into flames. There are those that say, even the dead have begun to walk the earth again. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. What are you talking about? You don't believe me? Or you think this is a joke? Did we say it was a joke? No, I... The situation is beyond grave. Huh? The chaos has caused abnormal climate changes all over the world. Really? You don't say? As a result, we are on the verge of enduring widespread crop death, famine, and starvation. Sounds like a and problem. And worst of all, are the rumors of governments planning to replenish their dwindling resources through war. It mustn't come to that. Why not? Can nothing be done? Who knows? There's nothing to hang on to but legends. What legends? Which is why you... No, never mind. I won't ask. I think I'm gonna just hit the hay here myself. Sleep well. Wait, you're not even gonna give her a blanket? Good morning. Afternoon. Good morning. You ready to get to work? We gotta make those rations and bags from the prickle boars we hunted yesterday. You got it. Oh man, that sounds so lame. <laughs> Afraid it isn't exactly super fun though. Well, let me know when you're ready to start. Do we have to? Do we have to? God damn it, I think we have to. Ready? No. So, what do you need me to do? Sorry for putting you to work like this. Oh, I'm pretty used to it. With your help, I'll be able to leave tomorrow. Thanks so much. So soon? Yeah. Great. We would enjoy your well, company longer. Well, better rest up for tomorrow. I ought to let Gramps know. Wish I'd asked her more about the world below. Well, you still got a chance. <coughs> Sorry about that. Just clear my throat. Alright, I think he said... Oops. Wrong direction. Okay, try this again. There it is. Anything over here? Nope. <coughs> yeah, 
And there you are. You old hey, timer. She says she's leaving tomorrow. I see. We'll all be sure to see her off. After all, one must always be hospitable to one's guests. That's why you were trying to kick her out? Instantly? Fucking asshole. I really owe you. Thank you so much. What did we do? Okay by yourself? I cannot cause more trouble for you than I already have. Oh, I'm sure you can. I see. <sighs> you'll be fine. Just follow that map and you'll get through the forest with no problems. Oh, it's not that. I believe you. Alicia. Huh? That's my name. Alicia Difta. Alicia? You didn't even know who I was, and you helped me without asking anything in return. Yeah, that's just what we do. Whereas I thought only of myself, leaving you without even a name by which to call me. As a knight, I am ashamed. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Alright, done. It's okay. Seriously, forget I about it. I confess something to you. Hmm? I know this sounds strange, but I believe that the Seraphim really do exist. Yeah, they do. They're the right here. The legends that are preserved in the Celestial Record must be more than mere fairy tales. Yeah. This crisis that has befallen our world, I believe only the ones spoken of in the ancient legends can truly restore order. The Shepherd, you mean? You're not going to ridicule me? Everyone back in town does. Of course not. You're a real saint, you know that? Nah. The Sacred Blade Festival is soon to commence in Lady Lake. A trial will be held based on the legend of the Shepherd's Sword. A trial I think you might be interested in. Me? Time to go. But please, give it some serious thought when you have the time. How come? The shepherd I see in my mind when I read the legends. I have to say, he reminds me a lot of you. <laughs> You're just saying that. What's this? Gramps asked me to go out and search the ruins and find some clues about that girl. I've been down there looking. So wait, this is Alicia's? This is the crest of Highland. I don't think this Alicia is any ordinary knight. I know this is difficult for you, but it really is for the best. Gramps? Hmm. Someone has infiltrated my domain. Wait, what? How do you know that? Blast and damnation! Hide in your presence, are you, crafty bugger? Everyone, be warned! There is an intruder in our realm! Find them! And kill them! They've concealed their presence! So chances are good, it's a hellion! Search with extreme caution! We'll go too. Very well. If it is a hellion, quick measures must be taken. I'm counting on you. I have a hunch we'll find it around the forest. Good idea. I have a hunch you have no clue what you're talking about. A hellion intruder, I hope everyone's okay. They can look after themselves and anyway, Gramps will keep them safe. We need to get to the first forest. If I was gonna hide anywhere, that'd be the first place I'd try. Let's see. But the map shows the star over there by the ruins. And the forest is straight ahead. So we're gonna head this way. I like doing that. Too bad you can't destroy obstacles. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if you could, like, chop that up or cut down an actual tree. That'd be pretty cool. Ah! 
Wait, somebody's screaming? Let's see what's going on. What is that? <coughs> Mason! How odd. I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. Well, it looks like but you got an appetizer. Some more side dishes. What on earth is this thing? Is this the Hellion? This is not the place for one such as you. Leave at once. <laughs> Impudent brat. I can smell the fear wafting off of you, those tender arms trying to conceal their shivers. Saray! Mmm. Aren't you a succulent treat? What? Did I stutter? I'm saying I'm going to eat you. As if. I can take you. Prepare to meet your doom, Hellion! There we go. Be gone! Striker! How's this? The kid job! Hidden arts. Combos combine both martial and hidden arts are possible. For instance, you can use a hidden art to target an enemy's weakness before following up with the martial art. You can set up to five hidden arts in combination with the left stick in the arts menu. If you have nothing set in the top slot, pressing A will let the system choose from any of your learned hidden arts. Huh. Aren't you? Still haven't had enough yet? Be gone! <laughs> Mason! That's just wrong, man. Finish your mill. He ate Mason. Is is this what Hellions are capable of? Away with you, evil being! Or you want to take us all on at once? Hmm. I shouldn't be snacking anyway. Not when the main course is getting away. Mason. We can handle the rest. Gramps, that fox looking thing. Was that really a Hellion? They can talk to us? Yes. 
That's the form of a human who has become a Hellion. Corrupted, essentially. Humans can become Hellions? Now, it's time you went back home and rest. We should. Come on, let's head back. Right. So, it begins anew. Wait, what? What begins anew? Eh, only 12th grade. Not too bad. Hmm. What on earth did it come here to do? How odd. I didn't expect to find anything but the main course here. <sighs> Not when the main course is getting away. Wait a minute. Was it going after her? Dude, you finally realize that? You're a little slow. And on to the next scene. They'll probably freak out with me gone suddenly. Sorry, everyone. Then why not just say goodbye? Yeah, save point and a monolith. Let's go get him. Never hurts to save in a game like this. And time to enter the forest. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Miklio! Why are you here? Thought I'd let you duck out of here. Well, I'm going to. Seriously? We can talk more while we travel. We don't have time. But from what the Foxman said, it's fair to assume that he's after Alicia. You picked up on that too, huh? Of course. Now, let's hurry. Hey! What? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? I'm just really happy you came with me. I couldn't let you navigate the world of humans alone. Not as guileless as you are. Yeah, I gotta change McLeo's outfit. I bet Gramps is mad though. He was ready for it, in a way. He knew you'd leave someday. Hey, I'm just stepping out for a bit. I'll see him again. Gramps has always known that once you left, you'd live the rest of your days with humans. Is this from Gramps? We'll need money to get by in human society. He said to sell that if we're ever in a bind. Oh. And there's a message for you as well. Walk the path you believe in, and live your life to the fullest. And I know you will not go astray. That's what he said. Let's go.
incredible. By themselves, people are such frail things. That is why, in times of calamity, they pray for a ship to save. <laughs> push him, Sora. Damn it! You were supposed to push him. <laughs> this is really it. This is our world. The era, later known as the Age of Chaos, gave birth to a new shepherd. This is his story. After we get through the forest, we should reach the lake. Then, we just have to head down the slope. Got it. But wait a minute. How do you know all this? It's not complicated. I've been collecting information for this very day. On your own? You never told me about it. If we keep heading east, we should make it to the town. Seems like it. Yeah. I figure if we cut straight down to the forest, we'll reach it soon enough. Oh, wrong way. Anything here? Nope. What's this? Got a life bottle, sweet. My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. And that's a dead end right now. This is that. I can smell herbs nearby. Oops, did not mean to go back in. I 
don't feel Gramps' domain anymore. That's because we've left the forest. Our adventure officially starts here. First off, we need to find Alicia and let her know she's being targeted. And then, we'll take down that fox guy. It's best we avoid confrontation with Hellions <coughs> as much as possible. But... I want to avenge Mason just as much as you do. But we're just a Seraph and a human. Neither of us with any power to purify malevolence. Never mind defeating him. Whether we could even drive him off by ourselves is iffy. And we can't rely on Gramps' assistance anymore. You're right, Nicleo. No, he's not. So this is the land below. What sights and sounds? Something, alright. Got an enemy over here. Ready, everyone. Once it gives chase, snakes, what? It's for the pauses between attacks. It's amazing how they can move without arms and legs. To a hellion all of a sudden. What luck. Quite strange. I hope it's just a coincidence. Yeah, let's check out the details while we're at it. No god yet. Could it be I'm attracting them because they know I can see them? Who can say? It's too early to tell. Nah, I don't think that's it. Ooh, a chest. Is that a treasure chest? That view! Even the air seems different somehow. <coughs> Definitely a change from Gramps' blessed domain. Alicia said the world below is full of malevolence. Can you feel it at all? I don't get that impression, personally. Me neither. I mean, it's so pastoral. Well, don't judge a book by its cover, as they say. But for now, at least we get a nice view. It's your first time here, too, isn't it? What do you say? Are you pumped? Pumped? Well, mildly inflated, at least. I so would love to dive into that. Ooh, a snake. Great, I'm ready. Ha! Let's take the ball down! Couldn't have been a coincidence. 
They're attracted to us somehow. You're just imagining things. Hey, isn't there a way over there? Yep. Look, there's the lake. And there's a huge city. Let's go check it out. But we're not done exploring yet. Focus, guys. Yeah. Way back. Just managed to fend them off. Yeah, I'm not going to read that. <laughs> now I really feel like I'm actually in another world. It's great to have a field trip and all, but try not to get us lost, please. <laughs> I'll be just fine. I got us a map! Oh, you mean the one that's in the Celestial Record? It's kinda old though. I'll probably need to redraw parts of it as we go along. Oh, is that all I got right now? Okay. Let's go kill this snake, though. There was a snake there, wasn't there? That was weird. Why did the snake vanish and then a wolf come after us? Some kind of trouble? Looks like it. The cart stopped. And before we go that way, let's head over here. Treasure nearby. Put those up real quick and then we'll head over to this direction. Look, Mikleo, that butterfly. Hmm. I'm guessing a type of Parnassius, though I don't know the exact species. I've never seen one like this. Of course. In the land below, there are tons of different types of plants and animals. Way more than Elysia. A whole world filled with things I don't know about? That sounds intense. Lee awesome! Don't forget, it also means more Hellions. Oh, right. Hellions. Gramp said that once malevolence takes hold, anything could turn into a Hellion. So even this butterfly? If malevolence settles in, probably. 
<sighs> Gives me shivers just thinking about it. Sounds about right. Let's all be careful. Okay. That's all we came to do. Well, uh, pick up this monolith while we're at it. A traveling caravan of merchants. I'm Agil, the captain. She's Rose. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. Nice to meet you, too. You finally learned how not to be a creeper. Shut it. Oh, hey. So if you're a traveling caravan, where are you traveling to? <laughs> We're going all over the world. Wow. We're protected by a free trade treaty, meaning we have a free pass to pretty much go anywhere we please. Sure, we get asked to smuggle all sorts of crap, but for us, trust is first and foremost. Dishonorable trade is fine for dishonorable people, but we do things our own way. And we're damn proud of it. This must be the famed capitalism of humans. Sure seems that way, yeah. We're planning to stay in Lady Lake for a while. If you need anything, just give us a holler. Will do, yeah. sir. We will. Thanks. Though they really ought to focus on their cart before drumming up business. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Hey, Mick Leo, why don't you pet him? Animals like this one can sense us. It gives me the willies. <laughs> It's not funny. Everyone has things they're afraid of. Wait, you're afraid of a little doggy? Oh wow, that's some knife you got there. Think you could part with it for a thousand gold? Hell no. Why Aww, would I do that? Too bad. Let me know if you change your mind. All right, that's all we can do right Why now. The Princess Alicia came through here when she got back to the capital. I would have loved to see the so-called Princess Knight for myself. Princess Alicia, huh? Phew. Sounds like she made it back safe. Glad to hear that Fox Freak didn't catch up to her. But still, to think that she was royalty. No kidding. A straight up princess? A princess, a knight, and she explores ruins on the side? How'd she wind up with that gig? Won't know until we ask her. That's true. Besides, Foxy Loxy might be in town waiting for a chance to get at her. Who's Foxy Loxy? Yeah, we've got to let her know. You mean that creeper dude? The entry paperwork? Sure, take care of it now and I'll let you in just as soon as that cart's fixed. All right, I'll be right on it. Hmm. Hey everyone, sorry about the hassle. Well, that was well-timed. Welcome to Lady Lake. Keep the feeling we'll be seeing them a lot. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I gotta change McLeo's outfit. I'm excited too, but don't 
make a scene. We don't want the humans kicking you out. Now, why would I do that? like I can't believe it oh, so this is how humans live don't they find it overwhelming wow. no gosh you'd think so just remember this isn't a sightseeing trip the real question is do we try to find Alicia first or look for the fox man so let's have a look around town for now how Good about call. neither let's gather information Let's go visit it in real quick. Or not. Nothing in there. Son, how about these duds? Made from real silk. My old lady will swap me for it, but they're yours for just 860 gold. Oh, is that cheap? Saray, behind him. <laughs> Should we give it what for? Have everyone think you're attacking the street vendor? You want to tour the inside of a human jail cell? Maybe. To everyone else, he looks just like an ordinary human. Oh, yeah. Good thing over here. Can't go that way. So let's go this way. Understand now, child, no matter how tough things get, stealing is stealing. Shut up, old man. You smell like farts. Wait, what? How would you know what farts smell like? And why would an old man smell like old farts? That was awfully oh. rude of you, kid. What, you got a problem? Oh, hey, mister. You smell like you'd be mighty tasty. Hey, let's get out of here. I don't want to go that way, I want to go this way. A 
And stay down! Ugh. Can't even swing a fist right! Ugh. That's different. Indeed. We'd best not get involved. The sanctuary up ahead is supposed to house a sword protected by the Lady of the Lake. Wait, are you getting in line? No way! First we've got to make sure Alicia's safe. I'm sure we'll be back. <coughs> Are there any herbs around here? There's supposed to be a vista point right here, I thought. Or maybe it's later. Nope. Whoa! No one told me the sanctuary would be this gorgeous! You can tell the shepherd myth is a big part of the culture here. Strange, though. There's no sense of blessing at all. Now that you mention it, we could always feel Gramps' blessing back in Elysia. Granted, Gramps is a particularly powerful seraph. But even so, this town has a high concentration of malevolence. It's honestly making me a little sick. You gonna be okay? For now, at least. I'm starting to think it'd be a bad idea to stay too long, though. This place has even more Hellions than we imagined. They're wandering around right there in front of us, and yet we can't do a thing. I'm as frustrated as you are, but our hands are tied. We don't have the power of purification. Besides, there's a reason for the Hellion manifestations. They're feeding on the evil in people's hearts. And in such a pretty town. Probably part and parcel of life in human cities. Yeah, I love this wind stepping ability. It really does that help. Smell. Is it herbs? <gasps> that dog. What dog. What's gotten into it? Do you see a dog? Cuz I don't. Oh, there it is. He's here. No mistake, that's the fox man. After him. Oh, the doggy. Hurry. So, uh. So Alicia really is the fox man's target. Looks like it. He probably retreated for now because of the commotion. So, yeah, when I was uh, first playing this game, I ended up having to redo this section because, um,. I found something out that I didn't know. Apparently, if you take too it long, be this fast. the dog's still chasing him. We can't let him get away. If you take too long in this area, after the dog takes this corner, then you risk letting the dog die. My instincts tell. But if you go quick, you can save the dog. It's safe. Looks like he cornered it. Are you ready? Of course. So, just a heads up for the that part. It is cool to have some time-based events like that. Your chicken hunting days are over, Fox. So, you're really that eager to die, are you?
So this will be just like the last fight, except he's got way more HP. And if you haven't noticed by now, wherever you actually start the fight is what becomes part of the fighting area. So, you can screw yourself over if you get caught in between doorways or in walls. And I should actually pay attention a little. That way I can actually attack. It's just these little things that I actually find fascinating about the game. Stronger than I remember. When we fought him back in Elysia, he must have been weakened by Gramps' blessing. I'll burn you to cinders! Take that! <laughs> Miklio! <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. A fitting end for worms who dare to wriggle at a god! I swear, I wasn't... Quiet. Who... who are you? We won't warn you again. Be silent. Have you forgotten our code, Lunar? You're all out of second chances. Understood? Go. The assassination order was a mistake. Princess Alicia will no longer be our target. Okay. You expect me to believe that? We have our honor. Stay. The princess's enemies are legion. For those who wish to remove her, assassination is but one option among many. You have bigger worries than who we are or what we do. I suggest you hurry to the pedestal where the sacred blade is kept. Why are you telling me this? Honor. So, I guess I should be thanking you for saving us. Hmm. <clears throat> and nearly taking hey, our heads off. are you off. all right? What? What in the world? Looks like we were saved by an assassin's guild. By a what? They were after Alicia by mistake or something. They took that fox guy away with them. But more than that, it looks like Alicia's not out of danger yet. Looks like? What's going on? Hey. I don't get it any more than you do. Let's just hurry to that pedestal. Well, 13, not bad that time. But still no gold. Ooh, I earned a new art. <coughs> Might as well check it. Okay, now we can actually explore. So let's go grab the chest and that monolith we saw up here. And 
and now I'll head back down and head this way. Oh, actually, let's go this way first. Go to that top star and trigger that seed. <coughs> we can't go any further. There's got to be some way. How are we going to let, or how are we going to get them to let us in there? We've got to come up with a way of getting inside the sanctuary. Really? We do? What makes you say that? Well, it's not like they're going to let us through the front door, obviously. Let's try a back door, if there is any. Is that a treasure chest? Now this scene up here, I have looked into it actually, and there's actually three ways to go about it. I've already done one, obviously, so I'm going to do a different one this time. No entry. If you want to check out the festival, go out front. What gives? You're letting him through. Well, that's because I'm festival staff. That's right. Authorized personnel only. Everyone else, move along. But it's urgent. Can't you do anything? Afraid not. Do you need a hand? You look like you're in a bind. I bet you want to get at that pedestal now, don't you? Yes. Alicia could be... They don't need to know that. I mean, if you could help me out, it'd really make my day. Sure thing, but we'll need some cash. Cash? Yep. Remember the guard back there? He's not averse to a little grease on his palm, if you know what I mean. We can get you through. How much? Let's see... I think 1,000 gold ought to cover it. So, one of the options for getting through is by selling the oil knife. Another one is Gramps' pipe. We're gonna go ahead and do this one. Um, however, the third way to get in is if you actually go up to the guard and show him the royal knife, he'll let you in. So, for now, let's just go ahead and do this one. Hope you're okay with this, Gramps. Oh, this is one swanky ass pipe. Swanky ass? This is wow. easily worth over a thousand gold. You should probably get it appraised first. Forget so it. I just need your help right now. Well, all right. Works for me. I know you're in a hurry. Let's go. Wait, where the fuck did she just put that pipe? Well, shall we? Yeah. Where the hell did she stick that pipe? Seriously. You think we made the right decision? Nope. I'm sure those merchants will come through for us. We just need to head brown back. Come on. Also, um, I might as well toss in that if you do happen to sell an item, you can get it back later on in the game. At, only at that scene. Um, I don't know what the third option will do, because I've yet to test it out, but, oh well. We'll find that out on the next playthrough.
this is the guy. You good? All right, then. I'll be taking your sword. Let's have it. Wait, what? My sword? Why are you taking it? Haha, <laughs> sucks for you. I still got three more. Well, that was easy. By the way, that pipe you gave me is worth way more than a thousand gold, no question. Be sure to come and see me again when you're done. I want to give you a fair deal. I appreciate it. Well then, we gotta get back to work. Thanks so much. Okay. Huh. Hmm. We went through all that trouble and we can't see the pedestal. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> well, sorta. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Being invisible has its benefits. You asshole. Seriously? I sense treasure nearby. What's this? Uh, I can't open those anyways right now. See, there's one right there. Hey, Saray, come over here. What is it? Saray? Alicia! Is that you, Saray? Welcome! And who may this be? This is Saray. Ah, yes, the one who rescued our princess way out there in the ruins. Saray, this is Lady Maltran. She's been appointed as the committee leader for the festival this year. She is also the one who taught me the way of the spear. Nice to meet you. I'm Saray. It is a pleasure. By any chance, did you come here to attempt the trial of the blade? Not just that. To tell you the truth. What this mysterious organization has told you is true. There are indeed those who think less than favorably of me. But Why? even so, I cannot live my life in fear of them. That a girl. But Alicia. Thank you so much, Saray. I really appreciate your concern. Soon, the finale of the festival, the Flames of Purification, will begin. Please enjoy yourselves. So this is what states people deal with. She didn't even flinch. Oh, that's right. Check out the pedestal. Oh, right. Yeah, how can we forget about that? If no one else can see her, does that mean she's a seraph? You probably can't remove the sword unless you can speak with her, meaning no ordinary person can do it. Incredible! So that means the legends were true. Hey, say something to her. Me? Unless you want me looking like a total weirdo. But still. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow citizens of Lady Lake. For the past several years, we have abstained from our beloved festival in light of the general state of the world. But this year, thanks to the grace and assistance of Our Lady Alicia, the Sacred Blade Festival can be held once more. Woohoo! We yet live in a time of crisis. Violent weather, geopolitical tensions, pestilence, famine, the list goes on. Aw oh man, that sucks. For you guys. However, 
I believe that it is precisely times such as these that make our cultural traditions and celebrations all the more vital to maintain. Oh, wondrous Lady of the Lake, show us your power. Lady of the Lake, hear our plea. Cleanse us of our sins and woes with your flames of purification. Citizens of Lady Lake, this jubilant festival shall be as a prayer to the heavens that we may know peace and prosperity. Some prayer, all right. This prayer of yours gonna give us our jobs back? The Council already seized the crops and weaponry trades with the state. They might as well declare war and get it over with. Hey, lady! You trying to kill us? This ain't nothing but the Council giving itself a pat on the back. Well, we're not gonna stand for it. Find someone else to lick your boots. Silence! Do not disturb the festival. Enough! Wait, why do they get weapons? Ha, serves you right! <laughs> this whole riot was a setup. Look at that guard! <coughs> this must be the work of the Chancellor. I can't believe they'd involve the citizens they swore to protect in the power struggle. Are we really so corrupt? Alicia! Saray, get to safety! No! You mustn't give in to hostility! Such emotions will breed Hellions! <laughs> To a hellion. The evil in people's hearts gives rise to malevolence. And once it reaches a certain point. Lady of the Lake! Can't you do something? You have the power of purification, do you not? A spirit? And you can see me? That's not good. Nicleo, put those flames out! The black flames are part of the hellion itself. The most I can do is manage the regular ones. Okay. Saray, you really can see Seth and Kay. This isn't looking good. The Hellions are coming out of the woodwork. The power of purification is not my own. It is a power given to those who would draw the sacred blade and become my soul. And I'll do it. What? Saray. To become my sword is to serve as a vessel for me to dwell in, and to assume the shepherd's burden. Blessed with the power of purification and abilities beyond human ken, cursed to be scorned by others and wrought with despair. Okay, we'll do to it. To protect this land from the Hellions means a constant stream of agonizing decisions. Lady, you... It's a lonely battle, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine. That's the burden of the shepherd? And you want Saray to take all that on right here and now? It is not to be done lightly. May I ask you your name? Oh, of course. I am Lila. Lila. My dream is to investigate ancient ruins all over the world. I believe that the legends of the past hold knowledge about how humans and Seraphim might one day live in harmony together. I must find a way to make that happen. To bring humans and Seraphim together again, as it was in the days of yore. If purifying the Hellions will save both humans and Seraphim, then we don't have time the best for this. I'll ever have to make that dream a reality. Are you really okay with this, Saray? That's why. Just do it. I shall become the shepherd. I offer myself to you as your vessel, and shall bear your burden. I've waited long for this moment. For one who is pure of heart and free of corruption, a shining vessel to whom my words will reach. Now, Saray, take up the sword! You got it!
should have done this earlier. <laughs> Shit, what did he do? Okay, so maybe it was worth the way. Saray, is that really you? Nope. Get back, Alicia. <laughs> hey, you'll be able to handle the Hellions, right? Yeah. Just take care of the rest of the flames. We can kill them finally. Woohoo! Counting on you, Lila. A werewolf? Did he become a hellion? I can. Ah, actually, let's see. Weak to arts. Hellion news. Take care of those slimes with my fire. Purify them with the shepherd's power. Got it. What? No. Got him with the tip of the sword. Nice. Are, are you really? Yep, I am the shepherd now. Calm yourselves at once, Chancellor Bartlow. Lady Alicia. We received word that there was a civil disturbance among the commoners. Indeed. However, it has already been quelled. By the appearance of the Shepherd. The Shepherd, you say? Citizens of Lady Lake, I hereby announce that this year's Sacred Blade Festival has come to a close. You heard him! Clear out at once! Milady, I should like to ask the cause of all this at a later time. Lady Maltran, your presence is also requested. The shepherd of all things. <clears throat> now then, it is time for me to return to my place within you. Oh, yeah, I am the vessel after all. That's a creepy sight. What the? Saray? What's wrong? It's because I have entered his body. 
I'm afraid he'll have a high fever lasting about three full days. What? Why? Presumably, the human body is reacting to the sudden presence of unknown powers inside of it. Those who make a pact with a Seraph usually wind up bedridden for a time. So that's what happens to one who becomes a vessel. I don't feel so good. Hey, are you alright? Not really. I think I'll take a nap for about three days. Saray! Well now. Things are getting interesting. Yeah, don't say. Oh, look, we actually got gold. Sure, why not? Good morning. Morning, you two. You okay? Better than before. Where is this? What happened to me afterward? You're at the inn in Lady Lake. Alicia graciously took care of the arrangements. You really were asleep for three days straight, you know? Was I? Now that Saray is awoken, why don't we all take a walk around town? I'm game. All right, let's go. He's finally awake. Thank goodness. Oh my, he's younger than I thought. That's the shepherd. Literally an overnight celebrity. Indeed he is. Definitely. You must be hungry, kind shepherd. I'll fix you up something at once. Thank you, sir. But I'm actually stepping out for a bit. Oh, really? Well, then I'll get it ready for when you come back. Don't worry about the bill. It's the least I can do for the shepherd. Really? Thank okay. you so much. I'll be back in a little while. Sorry for all the trouble, I mean, sorry for all the trouble. Not even what's done is done, so don't worry about it. More importantly, you've been zonked out for three days, so I'm guessing you're still a bit gro a little groggy. Take it easy for a bit, okay? Okay, yeah. I don't know how to take it easy, because we got a world to save. There's almost no one out. I guess it's still pretty early in the morning. You all right? I just felt strange all of a sudden. Like a weird pressure was crushing down on my chest. What? You can sense it already? What you're feeling is the malevolence all around us. Now that you've become my vessel, you can sense it. This is proof that your body has already grown accustomed to my power. You don't say. You mean there's really that much malevolence out there, even beyond the city? Indeed. And this is only a taste. As people start to crowd the streets, you'll feel it even more. Come this way. I'm just gonna be lazy. Back here. Definitely the easiest mode of transportation when you can't progress. Where the hell are you going? Ooh, treasure. My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. Aww. Eh, might as well explore. Ok. 
because there's no better time than now. And we found a dead end. Oh man, what a gorgeous lake! It truly is. But amidst the spectacular scenery, the town of Lady Lake is being corrupted by malevolence. Yeah. Now that I can sense it, I can feel the corruption everywhere. We can't let this go on. It isn't just happening here in Lady Lake either. It's eating away at the entire world. The scenery may be splendid, but you can feel that this place lacks the blessing of the Seraphim, can you not? Yeah. In Elysia, I could always feel Gramps' blessing. But here, nothing. But Lila... This little walk of yours isn't just to reconfirm the situation in Lady Lake with us, is it? You've got something to tell us. Yes, I touched on it before, but now I must clarify to you. The true purpose of the Shepherd. The Shepherds can quell the Hellions, beings who bring chaos to humans and Seraphim alike, with the power of purification. Sweet. That is the power of the Shepherd. However, that in and of itself is not the Shepherd's duty. What the Shepherd must quell is the source of all malevolence, the being who gives rise to the Hellions. Go on. The Lord of Calamity. The, the Lord, Lord of Calamity? Calamity? Yes. This figure has been known by this name for countless centuries. Whenever Hellions run rampant, this figure is always there. A Lord of Calamity, who begets Hellions with the overwhelming amount of malevolence he possesses. Given enough time, a Lord of Calamity can even permanently alter the world itself. Such is the Calamity he brings. Wait! If I remember correctly, the Celestial Record said that a Shepherd hasn't appeared for the last 200 years. And 200 years ago, there are records that the world was overcome by an unprecedented calamity. Could there be a connection? I understand. So, the Lord of Calamity is the source of all the malevolence, and it's the duty of the Shepherd to find and put a stop to him. That's all well and good, but where is this guy? For now, it is enough so long as you understand the duty of the Shepherd. Huh? The answers you seek are those you must discover for yourself, Saray. Answers of your own that you will not regret. I don't Stay regret true anything. To yourself. Forget not your duty, but be not a slave to it either. Answers of my own. And to that end, Saray. I know you want to ask about the effects the Lord of Calamity has on this world and how Earth Dwellers and Seraphim go about their lives, but... I want you to discern these for yourself. It's true that I'm completely clueless when it comes to just about everything in the world. I want you to travel the world and discover all sorts of things. Only then can you take the answers you have found for yourself and make a stand against the Lord of Calamity. Hmm. <sighs> It's not that tricky a concept. Pretty much boils down to, hey, Saray, let's take a trip around the world. Sounds like yes. fun. Got it. Anyhow, can we start by investigating some food? Talk about calamity. I'm gonna pass out. Shall we head back to the inn? I don't want to have to carry our shepherd around. Sure. Yeah, I think that'd look a little weird. And while I'm thinking about it, uh, passion. And that's her actual haircut.
Eh, we'll go with that for now. Is that a treasure chest? Oh yeah, we'll get that one soon. Is that an herb? You know, I've always wanted to travel the world. But I never imagined it'd be so important. It's kind of weird, but I can't say I'm not excited. I think it's safe to say you're probably the most, uh, sheltered shepherd in history. You really think so? Hey, Lila, what kind of people were the other shepherds? Huh? Oh, sorry, I missed what you said. So, what were the other shepherds like? I missed what you said. Lila? Yes? Hiding something? Oh my, isn't this lovely weather? Looks like she doesn't want to talk. Can I ask why you won't answer? I... I have forged an oath with myself. So long as I uphold that oath, I may wield certain extraordinary powers. However, the terms of the oath also prohibit... things. So wait, does that mean there are certain things you can't discuss? By powers, I assume you mean the power of purification? Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly! <laughs> You're kind of bad at this, aren't you? Does it really matter? We're traveling the world to find these answers anyway, after all. So we need to go investigate each land's shepherd myths? Yes, yes, yes! That's a thousand percent correct! Can other Seraphim besides you wield the power of purification? We should get back before Saray collapses from hunger and we have to sneak his body through the back alleys. Good idea. get going. Chop chop, no time to waste. The food is probably ice cold by now. Uh, <laughs> Let's get going. <coughs> and yes, she does do that a lot. Well, I'm sure she's got her own baggage like we all do. We'll be on the road together for a good while. I'm sure she'll open up when she's ready for it. Welcome back, kind shepherd. Your meal is waiting for you. Thanks a bunch. All right, let's eat. Phew, that was good. It really hit the spot. <laughs> you ate like a champ. It was delicious. You sure you don't want me to pay for it? Of course I am. Thanks so much, sir. Oh, I have something for you. A gift arrived from Lady Alicia. Huh? What could it be? Huh. It's a letter. My sword. Bags and... clothes? Ah, perfect timing. Go get changed. You can't smell. <laughs> All right, then. Not bad. How about it? It looks fantastic on you, Lord Shepherd. It really does. So dashing. Oh man, I want one. It's the garb of the Shepherd handed down from tradition in Lady Lake. You wear it well. So you can put lipstick on a pig. Just a minute, Miklio. You're jealous. Yeah, you wish. So what's the letter all about? Well, let's see. 
Dear Saray, I was surprised that you fainted so suddenly. I hope your rest at the end was rejuvenating. When I learned that you can communicate with Seraphim, beings of divine nature who cannot be seen by ordinary people. When I saw you draw the sacred blade from the Lady of the Lake and quell the riot at the festival before my eyes. My heart leapt with joy, the likes of which I've never known. The only thing I can think of to tell you is a sincere, heartfelt thanks. I hope you do not find this strange. Though I do think that my true feelings do not come across well in a letter. I know that, as the Shepherd, you are soon to embark on a journey to save the world. But once you are awake, I would like you to come and visit me at my home. Did you have a chance to try on the clothes I got for you? They're modeled after the traditional garb of the legendary shepherd. I hope they are to your liking. My, what a kind-hearted young woman. Yeah, seriously. I should be the one who's thanking her. Why not do it in person, then? Good idea. Let's move. Come back and see us again, kind shepherd. You bet I will. All right, I'll be right back. Hold on. And I'm back. Oops. Okay. Man, these clothes offer more mobility than I thought. They look purely ceremonial at first glance, but it turns out they're practical. Quite so. Perfect for the journey we're about to undertake.
Nice, all stats plus 20. I'm gonna need to thank Alicia for a bunch for this. Then go visit her and show her how good you look. She really was scared for you back there, you know? No, I don't know, because I kind of passed out, you know? It looks like all the hype from the festival settled down. But now everyone's talking about the Shepherd. Shepard. Have you need of Lord Alicia? She's on the terrace as we speak. Thanks, I'll see if I can find her. I sense you treasure nearby. I'm good. Aww, we can't open it. Huh, there she is. Saray, you came. Alicia. The shepherd's garb looks wonderful on you. Thanks. Some fine lipstick on that pig. Yes, Miklio. We all know your opinion. What? Pigs are nice. I think he likes I, pigs. Uh, I take it there's a seraph present with you? If I told you there was, would you believe me? To be honest, up until the events that took place at the Sacred Blade Festival this year, I wouldn't have. But even from the moment we met, I could tell... How can I put it? There was something... Something... different about you. Uh, <laughs> well, she's right, you know. Right here is a seraph. His name is Miklio. Please, find it in your grace to forgive my rudeness up until now, Seraph Miklio. Rudeness? You've never struck me as rude. He says you've never done anything to offend him. And this here is Lila. She's the one everyone calls the Lady of the Lake. Dude, you look like I a truly toad. believe in my heart that you were meant to become the Shepherd. Jackass. Whereas I, I mean all of us here in the city, can be standing right next to Seraphim and still not know. That's not quite true. She can't hear you. Saray, try taking Alicia's hand in your own. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, sure. Alicia, give me your hand. Aw, they're about to hold hands for the first time. Aw. Like this? Testing, testing. Check one, check two. Can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay then, Saray, try closing your eyes. Testing, testing. Alicia, can you hear me now? It's still no good. This time, close your eyes and also hold your breath. Alicia? I can hear it! Another woman's voice! Really? <laughs> Alicia, 
we Seraphim are able to see right into the very hearts of humans. Remember to show gratitude to all things. It is in exchange for this gratitude that we offer our blessing. No matter the circumstances, never neglect the Seraphim, or your heart shall turn to malevolence, and this in turn shall bring calamity. Fear not, Alicia. We have indeed seen your gratitude for ourselves. Saray, <laughs> uh. one more time. I always say that. Isn't there a better way to do this? I'm afraid this is the only method we have for now. Once you've grown more accustomed to my power and have amassed more experience as both a vessel and a shepherd, I believe such a strict sensory block will not be required. So, does that mean once I do grow stronger as a shepherd, everyone will be able to hear the Seraphim? As for Alicia, she already possessed a natural resonance from birth. Though nowhere near as much as you, Saray. I see. It looks like it's not that simple. Regardless, I was able to have a conversation with her. I now have no doubts that the Seraphim do indeed live among us. And that alone... Gets you excited? Yes! In more ways than one. The legends are no mere fairy tales. Duh. Okay! Alicia. We're going to stay in town for a while yet. Let me know if you need anything. Take care. I will. You too. Um, Saray? Looks like our explorer is all fired up. So, yeah, about the whole legend, say, just fairy tales thing. Um. Yeah, obviously, if there's a legend behind it, there's some truth to it. So, if you can decipher the truth from just the myth, then obviously you can find out the true parts of the legend. Anyways, let's see. We got two this time. Beats me, I could do without encountering turtle hellions. Though, I bet their shells would be tough to crack. Wait, we haven't even encountered a turtle. Get alone a turtle, Hellion. I say we go talk to some of these townsfolk. In a place this big, it won't take us long to find out what we need to know. Relax, those ruins aren't going anywhere. What? How did you know what I was thinking about, Miklio? Didn't I tell you I wasn't going to let you go off by yourself? So what's the plan? Let's have another look around town. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we haven't gone this way yet, so let's go ahead and head this way, see if there's anything. Dead end. No one can enter the palace without express permission. Bart lowers odors. Now kindly retrace your steps. Well, fuck you, I'm the shepherd. I can go places. I can go to distance, mod. Another dead end. And obviously, we're back at the beginning. <coughs> hey, it's the guy who sold me the pipe. Oh yeah, I heard about you. If we were 
to take that pipe from you for just a thousand gold, we'd look like we have serious credibility issues, and we don't want that. We've prepared a pretty hefty sum in addition for you in that there box. Take it with you. Okay. A 10 gallon hat. It's not quite as swanky as that pipe of yours, but it's got a vintage look I'm sure you'll dig. Hope you'll do business with us again. Well, let's check it out. Oops, wrong area. Yeah, that doesn't suit him at all. Oh wait, wrong direction. Now I've grasped this area is quite well. Watch it, there's someone suspicious afoot. Is it a turtle hellion? The hell's you mean turtles hellion? I'm just a turtles. Turtles? So wait a minute. Are they seraphim? Turtles are turtles. Can't you tell from looking at us? Oh, uh, sorry. Nope. Oh, brave new world that has such turtles in it. Ain't you ever seen a turtles before? No. What are you, some bumpkins? Well, lucky for you guys, we turtles are a forgiven bunch. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys sure are kind. Of course. The big heartedness of the turtles is proportional to the size of our shells. And what were you doing here? I'm making maps for our purposes. Oh. Maps! Come to think of it, we don't have any decent maps. The one in the Celestial Record is quite old. You guys sure are reckless. Says, can I sell you some of my maps? They're chock full of useful informations. Thanks. It's a big help. Yeah, that's pretty cheap, so why not? Thank you. I'm darn pleased that you bought my maps. He didn't respond when the roll call was taken. You don't think he's still down there in the waterway, do you? An underground waterway. Sounds worth looking into. So one of them hasn't returned yet. Wonder if he's okay. Are you going? <coughs> yeah, I'm worried about anyone who isn't coming back. Saray. But I already hit enter. You can feel it, can't you? I can't. There's definitely strong malevolence coming from the center of town. I must say, your ability is indeed impeccable. 
It looks like you're acclimating to your power already, far faster than I've even imagined. Why, right, thank you. I am? The day when you will come into the true power of the Shepherd is not far off. What kind of power is that? Oh, oh, sorry about that. You were saying? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yep. Good thing the armor shop had both a ceremonial sword and staff. Also, there's something I kind of wanted to ask you. Yeah, I know. You want to ask if this staff looks like it's floating in midair to humans. Is that it? How do you know? One look in your eyes says it all. Even if it's an item that humans can see, when Seraphim infuse mana into it, it will become unrecognizable by humans. The opposite is true as well. Anything made by a Seraph can be recognized by humans if mana gets infused in that item. Although, it's kind of a rare ability. So Gramps' pipe is like that? Quite perceptive of you. In fact, Gramps told you everything you just told me, didn't he? That's also quite perceptive of you. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I think now. Yeah, that has to be the save. Okay. Alright, with that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here. Um... Like I said earlier, I'm just not feeling very well. Been sick these past few days, so I'll probably pick this up uh, a little bit later. Um, anyways, uh, this is Carry On signing off. So I bid you all farewell. Uh, hope you guys enjoy your day. See ya. <laughs>